Welcome to the sixth episode. Let's introduce Sana. Sana was born on the 29th of December 1996 in Osaka, Japan, and is an only child. In 2009, Sana trained at EXPG to become a Japanese vocalist after expressing interest in singing and dancing from a young age. While she was in middle school, by a random chance, Sana was scouted in a shopping mall whilst out with her friends, interestingly enough, in the exact same way that Mina was. She would take part in the JYP Japanese yearly auditions and get through, ultimately joining JYP in 2012. Sana would train for around three years and, like Gio, was supposed to be in the lineup for JYP's new girl group Six Mix with Nayon, Jonghyun, and Gio, which never ended up happening, meaning Sana would join Twice's survival show 16. Like the majority of the foreign members, Sana would struggle communicating when she came to Korea, often becoming frustrated at being unable to answer simple questions and would hate not understanding why people were laughing. As expected, Sana's personality would shine during 16, and she would experience ups and downs, but overall was pretty smooth sailing into Twice's lineup. Sana is a more interesting case in Twice in terms of utilization. Sana would often have very small parts in both the music videos and the songs, but many would argue that her time stood out the most, capturing the hearts of people with her cuteness. Over time, Sana would become more of a staple of Twice's maturity, contradicting the cuteness that made Twice so popular. I believe Sana truly understood the idea of Twice and the journey that Twice as a group take. Her musical journey has consistently increased with every comeback, and it's lovely to watch. Captivating the heart is something every idol can do, but not many can hold it hostage like Sana does. No Sana, no life reigns true when the extra version of her keeps Twice's energy on full. And if there's anyone to thank for Twice's appeal to the Korean public in their early years, thank Sana. <laughs>